that's it. Make a nice little bottle of water here. And some Bucky's Classic Trail Mix. And a Robert Irvine Fit Crunch Bar. These are, these are the best tasting protein bars I've ever tasted. Hey, pretty cool here at the Vision Center. I Welcome to the Vision Center maintenance hangar. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. Every, everything looks good so far. Went out of the, the clear here. You can see some sunlight over there off the wing. We're going to stay west of this weather because if you look over here, it's real nice. We're going to try to stay west and we're on a direct heading to our destination. So looking good. Hopefully this audio comes through. Okay. November 4th, the lane, the game's lost number 3 0 2 6. Okay. Let's set up. If we get weather. Smoky, Smoky Mountains, right out there. Down in the enhanced flight business system, we're all unreliable. Right, here we go. In the area. Runway 21, runway and identify last out of service, as well as the Sandy for We are headed. As you can see there, a little nerve wracking. Doing it by myself, did it with Bird, but this is my first time. Crossing the Smokies on my own. Seven five seventy four cross Ozzy at a maintain one four thousand on Atlanta altimeter three zero two six. We're getting an awful lot of uh, interference. I think it's probably from the mountains. Um, can't get, we can't quite get a signal into uh, into Knoxville. We'll cross here and then see if we can pick something up. I've got the radio on guard on COM2. Barely hear, barely hear something down there. We'll probably get a little bumpy. The mountain waves, we get the winds that flow over the mountains. 
and then they kind of scoop up, and you know that's what causes the turbulence and the bumps. But clearly, these broken clouds you see around me, <coughs> these are these are being created by the mountains. We've got uh, quite a bit of clearance here. Let's see, right up on the map. So yeah, here we are. We got a 5,260-foot peak coming up. We're currently sitting at 8,500. So we've got plenty of clearance for that. And then after we pass Smokies, we're hoping for about 6,500 broken. Which appears to be where this layer is at. And then we're uh, in the middle of flight here and decided to divert to Knoxville. And the reason is I'm going to go by the Vision Center. I haven't been invited. But once again, we've got this little gremlin. Power, or the uh, percent power, which is actually being caused by the fuel flow sensor, which I have replaced with new no less than two or three months ago. I think it's just loose, and that's what they said the first time. So I'm going to stop since I'm going literally in that direction. I didn't want to stop at uh, Knoxville because Signature Gas is over eight, eight bucks a gallon. They're just ridiculous. Uh, but in this particular case, I'm going to I'm going to do it because I have to. There's I've got to get this looked at, and if I'm going to Cirrus. Uh, somebody there should be able to tell me how to fix that before I go forward. It is not a danger. It's no danger to the flight uh, situation uh, since um, I've got my I've got all my other stuff. It's just fuel flow, so it's just for me. It's just it, it affects the ability to lean. I uh, use lead assist, which I don't use anyway. I use verbal lead assist. I listen. I listen for the fuel flow, and then I adjust accordingly, uh, the old-fashioned way. But when you're you know, when you're running approaches and things like that, it's good to have that percent power handy. It also is telling me how much fuel I'm using so they can give me fuel over destination and I still show fuel at 90 gallons which obviously I don't have 90 gallons because I have no fuel sensor so once again this little grambling I'm hoping to get it solved once and for all so crossing the Smokies here Great flight, not too choppy. Uh, cloud cover from the, the mountains itself, but uh, planes running great. I mean, other than that one sensor issue, everything's running great. I go back to the engine once in a while just to make sure, because as you can see here, there's no power. But everything else is in the green, so you know we're gonna. We're going to head on to Knoxville, talk to somebody at Cirrus Vision Center. Hopefully we can get some help. Stick that battery there. This GoPro 360 is great. But it loses battery. Loses battery so fast. Let's see here. I'm going to see if I can pick up. So we're going to go to flight plan uh, and see if there's an updated, whoops.
0703 knots. Okay, so I'm going to expect... Atlanta, Center, right? All right, I'm going to expect a 5. So I'm going to plug in. Procedure. Center, Skyline, November 5. 85, welcome to the U.S. Center, Skyline, November 5. 85, welcome to the U.S. Center, Skyline, November 5. So quick audio interruption here. Um, I've allowed the ATC chatter to continue in the background as I make this flight because I've had some requests for that. So in between the Sirius XM radio, you can hear uh, some of the uh, area ATC Knoxville chatter. Okay, I'm with the five right LPV. Okay, I, I got to go just in time. So five right. Enter. Okay. Minimums on the LPB 1159. I'm going to load it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and cancel now. 60 Papa. Never mind. 760 Papa. Roger. IFR cancellation received. Call CFR. Frequency change. 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 Okay, we're making good good speed. We're doing 180 knots. 312, Hotel Sonic Knoxville, approach 118.0. 118.0, Knoxville approach, 731, Juliet Hotel. Five. Knoxville approach, Sirius November, 731, Juliet Hotel, level 8,500 with your request. 731 Juliet Hotel, Knoxville Approach, Altimeter 3025, stay request. All right, 25 on now, Altimeter. Look at, uh, can I see RNAV? Practice RNAV 5, right? On Juliet Hotel, you can expect the RNAV 5, right? I can expect uh, 5, right, uh, 731 Juliet Hotel. On Juliet Hotel, uh, VFR altitude is your discretion. Okay, we have our, our discretion, 71 Julia Hotel, thank you. Fisher 868, traffic no factor, descent to maintain 4,000. Out of 4,000, Fisher. Okay, we're going to duck and cover here. 1,400 off the side right. Three one hundred tangle Fox Drive, Knoxville departure, rate of contact, climb your request to be up for altitude, turn right on course. Reset. We got our altimeter in. One Julia Hotel, turn left, heading 320, vector to final. Left for 320 for vector 73 Julia Hotel. That's no clubbing. Tango Delta, like Sunday, flight forward. It's on. Tango Delta, Raider service terminated. Squawk via fire. Frequency change of route. Thanks for all you do. Appreciate it. Good Tango Delta. Archer down to 470 by the Lima. Six. 1700, climbing 3000. 470, Bravo Lima, Hospital Departure, Raider Contact, uh, climb your request with BFR Altitude, and did they give you a, a 050 heading? They did. Uh, I requested uh, BFR Altitude 40, 470, Bravo Lima. Zero Bravo Lima, reset your transponder squawk 2021. 2021, November 0, Bravo Lima. Number six zero Alpha, the uh, airport's 12 o'clock, five miles. Uh, the lowest I can get you right now is 7,800. Let's get down there because I think that'll get me out of these clouds and I can't pull it in. But that's 7,800. Six zero Alpha, maintain 7,800. Seven Bravo Charlie, contact Atlanta Center 121.35. 2135, which is at Bravo Charlie. Good day, sir. November 470, Bravo Lima, you can turn right, direct Juliet, November X ray. And uh, does 9,500 work for you? 9,500 is perfect. Uh, turn right, direct to NX, uh, 470, by the way. Okay. Number 60 Alpha, this is going to maintain 4,400. Down to 4,400 for 60 Alpha. Uh, 
Fox 4 Approach, 417 Alpha Bravo. Six zero Alpha, you just plan to stay on that heading uh, over to the north side of Gatlinburg. We can get you over there. Uh, sounds good. I'll probably cancel with you here in just about 30 seconds. Zero Bravo Lima, maintain VFR at or below 7,000 for now. VFR at or below 7,000. Over zero Bravo Lima. Fisheri 68, turn right, heading 320 about the airport in sight. Right, 320 and uh, with the other airport in sight, Jet Cherry 68. Fisheri 68, clear visual approach, runway 5 right. Clear visual 5 right, Jet Cherry 68. So we, I'm going to deviate to uh, 80 TS, 60 Airport, North City. Okay, here we go. Alpha 2, minus the approach. 417 Alpha Bravo. Fisher 868, contact tower, have a good day. Over to tower, have a good one, Fisher 868. Okay, charts. Uh, knock the parts, we're not taking a box drop. Whenever you got a second, we're gonna go ahead and cancel. Just not take a box drop. Alright, knock the approach, Bonanza 60 Alpha, ready to cancel my IFR. Bonanza 60 Alpha, our frequency chain approved, you have a great day, sir, appreciate it. Thanks so much, you too. Five right, one two eight point three five. We're gonna get Adis. One two three point nine. We're on approach. Power is one twenty one two. Okay. Twenty one nine. Okay, and 8600 is our landing, 961 is our elevation, we're on vectors, 2700 at glide path intercept. Zero Bravo Lima, altitude is your discretion though. And we're heading toward Weepole right now. 3100 at Weepole. Okay, so 3100. I'm going to bug that. Runway 10 will be climbing the uh, left turn towards Volunteer. Roger, we can, uh, we can deviate on this heading if that makes it easier for you. Yeah, that's the three for now. Traffic right, one o'clock and about three miles westbound altitude indicates three thousand five hundred. Suggest you uh, descend or climb and turn a little bit to the north. I will right, we'll descend down to three thousand and turn to the north and we are visual. I take a box. Roger, thanks. We're ready to go. We're ready to go on nav. Six miles from Voyager, turn right heading 020, maintain 3000 till established on the final approach course, cleared RNAV, runway 5, right approach. Yeah, what was that turn right again, sir? Cirrus 1 Julia Hotel, turn right heading 020, maintain 3000 till established and cleared RNAV, 5, right approach. 020, maintain 3000 till established, uh, cleared RNAV, 5, right, 731 Julia Hotel. 731 Julia Hotel, maintain 120 knots till Voyager, please. Okay, maintaining one two zero now. So to not take a fox, we're gonna maintain a zero nine zero heading at three thousand until about Gatlinburg. Nine take a fox right, Roger, appreciate that. Absolutely. Seven 
Alpha Bravo. Maintain VFR at or above 6500 televised. At or above 6500 417 Alpha Bravo. It's captured. 731 Juliet Hotel, contact tower 121.2, we'll see ya. 212, 721 Juliet Hotel. 31 Juliet Hotel, on the RNF 5 right. 731 Juliet Hotel, Knoxville Tower, runway 5 right, clear to land. 5 right, clear to land, 721 Juliet Hotel. Go, make right close traffic, pattern out to out below 2,000 feet. Right close traffic, pattern out to 2,000 feet, 6 by right there. Up 269, put the other visual, 5 right. Back on 269, Knoxville Tower, runway 5 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 5 right, back on 269. Forward speed up. I'm right on it. Okay, here comes uh, our six, four, three, two, one. 1840 is our next load. 1160, 2540, or a thousand feet. Power lever and brakes. Okay. Landing checklist complete. We're coming up on our minimums. Oops. Extend up with one mile. Extend up with one mile. Six Really, really high.
Traffic approved. You can turn right across one. Traffic, Series one, Julia Hotel, right turn off of four. Tech your vision center via alpha this frequency. And with you uh, to the vision center. Hold on alpha. Come to it, Julia Hotel. To follow citation two mile final, extend it down and report the traffic in sight. Head tower, which is that to the left, uh, Vision Center? Right. There'll be a right turn on Alpha to get to the Vision Center and then yeah. turn left onto Charlie. Okay, right on Alpha and left on Charlie, so to Agile at all. My mission is to take right, we have the landing traffic in sight. Six five, actually follow that traffic. Runway five right, clear for the option. Five right, clear for the option. Follow the traffic. Six five, actually. So we have to do the Okay, it wasn't planned, but welcome to the Vision Center. Here in Knoxville. Number 65, actually, it's called 0300 on the pattern. How many uh, testing goes did you want to do today? I'm going to order 4 or 5, 6, 5, like right there. Dot com, uh, 269, right turn. Suppose we're going to see a whole bunch of CRI in this area. Oh, pretty nice. One, two, three, point three. Two, three, point three. Sarah's Vision Center, November 7th, 3 1, Julia Hotel. Go ahead, Julia Hotel. I'm uh, the red aircraft pulling in. Um, I'm on a trip and I've got another, I've got a fuel flow uh, sensor issue. Is there anywhere I could park to take, have someone take a quick look at this? Stand by. Go ahead and pull into that first hangar there, that's the maintenance. Okay, got it, thank you. Check this out. I'm surrounded by Sirai. Look at them all here. Bunch of uh, vision jets too. Welcome to the vision jet, so the vision center maintenance hangar. How convenient is this? A whole bunch of guys that know a lot about Cirrus. So we stopped here and uh, they're just going to see if they can reseat that fuel flow sensor. Julie Hotel's looking great among her brothers and sisters. I have never seen a menu this Freaking big. It's just, there's like a million things here. <laughs> it doesn't end. Here at Hot Rods in Knoxville. Here's the Vision Center store. Quite a bit more stuff than they usually have out at the shows. Even suitcases. I don't even want to know how much those are. Pretty cool stuff. I'm going to get a uh, B-52 
Peter Miller shirt. I love Peter Miller stuff. Cirrus logo on it while I'm here. It was unplanned, but Cirrus gets a sale out of it. So we're gonna go back, see what they find out. I think that plug is just the problem, the thing unplugged. So we'll see what they have to say about my plug. Okay, pretty cool here at the Vision Center. I, you know, it was a deviation, but I got my Vision swag, or excuse me, I got my Cirrus swag here. Got something for you, Vern. It's coming. And um, so we continue, hopefully with a plane that reads the fuel flow. So they think they found the problem. There was uh, evidently a zip tie that was pulling on the wire. And uh, we're back, going back here to the service center right behind me. And hop back in 31 Juliet Hotel and head to Indianapolis. Let's go. I wish I could say that uh, the uh, Knoxville Service Center solved the problem, but they didn't. It took another two months and the Kissimmee Service Center to realize the problem was with loading the avionics. So they deleted the whole thing, they reloaded the avionics, and somehow that solved my uh, gremlin with this fuel flow sensor. Wasn't the sensor. And right behind this Vision Jet, and this interesting looking paint scheme. And another Vision Jet, G2 there. There's our baby, 31 Julia Hotel, all fixed up. We're gonna go ahead and just top off the fuel here and head, to, uh, that way we would have to stop. We'll head straight to Indy. And um, so far so good. Other than the little fuel flow thing, it's working good. Plane's running great, no issues over the mountains. It wasn't even bumpy. So let's keep going.